Hi there, everybody. I wanted to give you uh, uh, an update on Saturday's PCC meeting, and I want to just um, say that it was a really, really special and positive and united meeting on uh, in every respect. And I think we really sensed God's presence with us. And thank you so much for your prayers. I'm going to share in a moment that the decisions around services that we made, but I wanted to just share what I think God was doing, which was much bigger than that. We're aware that uh, over the last five months, there's been significant prayer going into what we talked about on Saturday, and we really noticed that. And particularly with the prayer times at All Saints, you know, God has really been aligning us and guiding us to his vision, I think. And at All Saints on the Wednesday before um, the, the meeting, someone in the, in the meeting was given a, a picture of a wedding and a marriage and um, how, you know, that was the picture for us at this time of All Saints and St Andrews. And, and as I went away to dwell on that, you know, God really spoke to me, which I shared with the PCCs on Saturday, about, you know, the fact that 20 years ago, back in 2001, St Andrews and All Saints came together as a joint benefit. And over those years, there have been different phases of the relationship, the, the courtship phase, if you like, where the two churches began to work together, did a load of joint mission, but um, still did things quite separately. Then perhaps in 2015, we went into the engagement phase where we became St Andrews and All Saints. We started having a joint website and joint notice sheets, um, a joint worship service, Deeper, which was really significant, I think, and some other joint mission initiatives. But sensing that, you know, God is now calling us into a new phase, a, a marriage phase, if you like. And in marriage, one of the things that you say in, in the marriage service is that everything I have is yours. And we sense God saying, you know, this is a time when um, we are to share everything, that we no longer see things as St. Andrew's things and All Saints things. But everything we do is ours and is to share between the two churches. So instead of putting on the, the same pattern of services at St Andrews and the same pattern of services up at All Saints on a Sunday morning, you know, we now move to uh, where there is a variety of services offered throughout the week on Sundays and midweek, which are open to everyone. And, and if you like, all of them are joint St Andrews and All Saints services held at different locations. And we invite people to go from either church to the service which is relevant uh, for them. We we have joint mission. Uh, everything that we do now is joint mission where we're open to directing people to through that mission to whichever church and services are, are right for them. If there's an early birds family who would prefer a more parish church style, you know, we, we direct them up to All Saints. If there's a messy church family who would benefit from uh, the more contemporary, larger um, amount of children's work that we offer at St Andrews, then we direct them to St Andrews. But, you know, everything that we do jointly is not just to steer people into one church or the other, but it's to be open to, to directing them wherever is appropriate for them. Uh, you know, Jesus said, um, I will build my church. And he called us to seek his kingdom. Seek the kingdom, he said, and all these things will be added unto you. And as that sense that as we prayed and reflected on Saturday, that God was calling us to seek together first the kingdom and to leave him to build the churches and to seek the kingdom with other churches in Malvern too, to do more and more of what we can together. And I hope in, in time, you know, the team will, will ex expand to, to a place where we're doing more and more together with other churches too. And, and as we do that, and as we seek to simply build the kingdom and serve God in whatever way he leads us to, that we trust that God will build his church. I think there was another significant moment on Saturday where we acknowledge that as two churches, we haven't always spoken well of the other church. And that at times, you know, we can we can tell stories which are sometimes not right about the other church and we can perhaps um, not speak in an honouring way to each other about the other. But in a marriage, you know, we, we, we reflected that in a marriage we're called to love and cherish the other. And we had a significant time in the middle of the meeting on Saturday where uh, we repented together of where we'd not spoken well. And we, we drew a line in the sand and we said, you know, from now on, we're going to love, really love and cherish the other. 
and honour each other and share all we have to each other and celebrate and what God is doing in both churches. Because, you know, we are united in um, God's mission in this place. So I really want to encourage you to hold on to that and to take that forward too. We are here building the kingdom together and we honour one another in that. So what are the decisions we made? Well, we the decisions to permanently move to one blended service at All Saints, um, which will be there for people from either church um, who are looking for that mix of traditional and contemporary on a Sunday morning. The All Saints leadership team and PCC now are, are to go away and, and pray more about exactly what that looks like, the format and provision of children and things like that. But, you know, this was a unanimous decision that this was God, what God was calling us to do. And, you know, it was really encouraging to have 49 at the blended service on, on last Sunday from people from both churches. And the time for that is going to be at 10 o'clock. You know, 85% in the serve of people in the survey wanted that time. It was really clear that that was the main preference. We're going to continue with the contemporary service at uh, 10.30 at St Andrews and uh, the 6th, which... Uh, we'll remain at St Andrews mainly, but we decided that on occasions that we would bring that up as a more of a joint service uh, to all saints in the sort of deeper style of previously when, say, we had a guest speaker and we've got uh, a guy from Open Doors coming on the 27th of February and we'll trial it then, first of all, and see how that works. Early birds will continue as now. Uh, the midweek service is going to remain as a midweek service. You know, 57% set of people said they wanted to retain the midweek service. Only 20% were asking to move it back to a Sunday morning. And there was a real sense, you know, God was doing something new in there. And, and, and we would look to uh, perhaps having a monthly lunch. That's what came out of the survey every so often, uh, on, once a month, to encourage more building of community at that service too. And just pray that God would take that and continue to expand that ministry. And then we decided too to particularly pray and explore the possibilities of a Fresh Expression Sunday gathering at the Octagon. Um, the, the PCCs felt quite clearly that that was the stronger calling at the moment than exploring a service in the Malvern Wells Village Hall. So that's what we're going to pursue. And we've already begun to start praying in there in the Octagon on Sunday afternoons. And we encourage you, if you're interested, to come and join us with that. So there's more detail on the website itself where you can also access all the results of the survey and also um, see, if you want to, my extended um talk to the PCCs last Saturday uh, which I encourage you to watch if you've got a spare half hour but thank you so much for being part of this and prayerfully contributing to this you know these changes aren't going to be easy for some and we need to recognize that and we need to continue to to walk gently and slowly together through this transition time but I want to just say again and really underline that all the decisions made on Saturday were carried unanimously at the PCC and everyone had a real sense that this was the direction that God was leading us into in this next season. So let's continue to pray, to be expectant about what God will do and to continue to seek to build God's kingdom together here, to do the part God's calling us to do and to trust him that he will build our churches, he will build the church, and he will maintain those things, that we don't need to worry, but we need to seek first the kingdom of God in this place. Thank you for being part of God's story here.